Hi, my name is Miss Margarita and I teach preschool at the Forks YMCA in the 4C class. If you are one of the students that participates in 4C, I am so glad to have you on this video with me right now. And I look forward to our live video session tomorrow on Zoom. Today what we're going to be learning about are butterflies. Actually, all week we're going to be learning about spring, and I am so excited to do a fun project with you. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to tell you a couple of things that we're going to do, and then you can pause this video and get your supplies. I would first, other than obviously introducing myself, I would like to introduce a very good friend of mine that my pre-K... 4C students know very, very well. He is from a fun, faraway country, and he has a very interesting accent. Meet Cousteau the Crow. Well, hello, mon ami. It is so good to see all of you boys and girls. I am Cousteau the Crow, and I love to teach. I hope that you are ready to learn. Are you ready to learn? I'm ready to learn. Oh, so good, so good. Okay, the first thing that we're gonna be learning about is the life cycle of the butterfly. So, if you can pause the video right now, Cousteau and I will wait. You can get a piece of paper doesn't matter. Any color is fine. It can have lines in it or it doesn't have to have lines in it. Whatever you want. Or, like me, you can use a paper plate. Yes, wee wee wee. I love the paper plates. Me too, Cousteau. Oh my goodness, Cousteau. You are so full of love. Anyway, okay. Go ahead and pause, and we will be waiting right here, and you can go get your supplies. We're back. Good to see you again. Wee, wee, wee. Oh, I love my class. All right. Thank you, Cousteau. We are going to need to hold up the poster so that the boys and girls can see the life cycle of the butterfly and we can explain it. Ah, oh, yes, yes, yes. Wee, wee, wee. I hope it's not backwards. The butterfly life cycle. First, the butterfly before it becomes a butterfly, it starts off as a caterpillar. Crawly, 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 fuzzy, wuzzy, crawly, crawly. Then, after its life as a caterpillar, it wraps itself up as in a cocoon called a chrysalis. Can you say chrysalis? Chrysalis. Great! After a few weeks wrapped up and changing, it becomes a butterfly. And the butterfly slowly comes out of that chrysalis and lives and flies around and gets all kinds of pollen from flowers. It loves flowers and you probably will see butterflies in places where there are lots and lots of flowers. Then the butterfly lays eggs. The eggs are laid on the back of a leaf. So if you don't really see them too often, that's okay. But if you do see them, make sure you don't touch. Eventually, probably after a few weeks, Guess what happens to those eggs? They don't become birds. They actually don't become butterflies right away. They hatch and become caterpillars. Isn't that cool? It's like a big circle. 
Wow, that is so interesting. So what we're going to do is we together are going to make our very own chart so that you can remember those different um, those different stages of the life of a butterfly. Cousteau, can you come back here? Oh, wee oui, wee, oui, here I am. I am so sorry. I lost my socks. Oh, it's so good to see you. Hey, where are your socks? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, well, let's make our butterfly life cycle. Good idea. Cousteau likes to work. Okay, here is my paper plate. I am now going to set the video so that you can see the paper plate as I am writing in the different parts of the life cycle. First we have a little caterpillar. So if you have your marker or crayons, you can draw a little caterpillar. These are the little caterpillar's legs. Caterpillars have so, so many little legs, and they usually have stripes on them, too. I'm going to color this in a little later. After it's a caterpillar, then, do you remember that special word we said together? Chrysalis. The, it wraps up, the caterpillar wraps up, and hangs from a tree branch or hangs from something and spins it all together and then becomes a chrysalis. I'm going to draw an arrow pointing from the caterpillar to the chrysalis. After a few weeks of changing, the big word is metamorphosis. Can you say metamorphosis? That's a huge word, but go ahead and try because it's fun to try new things. Meta, meta, morphosis, morphosis, metamorphosis. And it becomes a butterfly. So I'm going to make the butterfly body and the antenna. And then the wings. And it looks the same on the left side as it does on the right side. You can decorate the butterfly with some designs and shapes. But whatever you do on one side, make sure you do on the other side. Because butterflies are symmetrical. That means they're the same on the left as they are on the right. It doesn't have to be perfect, just as close as you can get it to be. Then the butterfly lays eggs on a leaf. So here's the leaf. And here are the little eggies. The eggs then hatch and become caterpillars. I'm going to write butterfly. That's a big word, butterfly. I hope you enjoyed working on the butterfly life cycle with me and maybe a little bit later on you'll get a chance to color that all in the butterfly life cycle I thought we would go and take a little field trip outside hopefully you live pretty close to some place where you can get outside pretty quickly I think I'm gonna have to leave Cousteau inside sometimes when I take Cousteau out 
side when he does because he doesn't have a leash because he is a bird he might fly away is that okay yes wee oui, wee oui, it is okay you can leave me inside that is okay okay thank you Cousteau. so i'm gonna go outside and i hope that you can come with me if you have a magnifying glass that's not usually something that most people have at their homes but maybe you have one, or maybe you can pretend that you have one. I like to pretend a lot. So I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna look to see if I can find a butterfly. Would you search with me? Let's see if we can do this. Oh, butterflies. Maybe I have to be quiet. I'll tiptoe. Okay, now I'm outside. Now, I don't see any leaves, so I'm not sure. Oh, except for right here, I see some leaves. Look, these are little plants that we had in the 4C classroom. But I don't see any butterfly caterpillar eggs on them. So, whoa, there was another leaf from another tree from our classroom. I'm going to inspect using my handy dandy whoa, magnifying glass. Whoa, I'm getting dizzy. I'm going to inspect some of these leaves. I don't see any butterfly egg, caterpillar eggs on those. And I don't really see any butterflies out here. I wonder if it's too, a little too chilly. Looking around my guard, oh look, random kitty cats. I always like it when random kitty cats, they're not my cats, they're just somebody else's cats that like to come into my yard. I like them, they're very cute. Hi random kitty cats. Okay, I'm looking for butterflies and I don't see, oh, whoa. Hello, Mr. Butterfly. What is your name? Maisie? Maisie the Butterfly. Wow, it's springtime. You must be so excited. Yes, Maisie the Butterfly. Probably my 4C students recognize this butterfly because this butterfly actually is an old timer and she usually is hanging around in our classroom in 4C. Did you fly all the way here from the Forks YMCA? Well, do you want to remind all the students of the life cycle of the butterfly? Okay. The first thing before you became a butterfly, you were a caterpillar. That's right, you were a caterpillar. And then, what did the butterfly, the caterpillar, sorry, before it became the butterfly, what did it wrap up himself as? It's a big word. Chrysalis, that's right. The butterfly was inside of the chrysalis changing. The big, big, big word is metamorphosis. And yes, after a few weeks, Maisie and her friends came out of that chrysalis and they flew and flew all around to get pollen and nectar from the, the beautiful flowers. That's their favorite thing. Yes, they love the flowers. And then they laid their eggs so that more caterpillars could then grow and hatch. Very, very exciting. Well, it was very fun to spend a little bit of time talking to all of you about the life cycle of the butterfly. And I hope that everybody gets to go outside. It's a lovely day. I don't know what Monday's gonna, Monday tomorrow might be a little rainy, who knows, but you can still go outside and maybe search for some butterflies. It doesn't matter if it's raining or not, you can still enjoy the beautiful day. It's spring. 
Adios, everybody.